show you why I put this really cheap gaffer tape on my really expensive Leica M camera. And you've probably seen other people do this and maybe you wondered like, why? Why would you commit such an atrocity to such a beautiful piece of equipment? Well, today I'm going to tell you why. But first of all, if you're new here, my name is Justin Ma. My channel is dedicated to all things photography from the perspective of a full-time working professional photographer. And today I am not in my studio. My house is under renovation, so I'm staying in a rental apartment. So this is the best I can do, so bear with me. So I'm going to start with telling you a little bit of my background as a photographer. I'm going to put the tape away. I'll still hold up the camera for those of you that are more interested in looking at this than me. Uh, I started my career as a photojournalist. I started my career in San Francisco. I had to work in some very sketchy neighborhoods. And still to this day, and even more so, San Francisco is quite dangerous for theft. I see a lot of my friends who are professional photographers on Facebook constantly posting things about people being held up and robbed for their equipment. So right in the beginning of my career, I just remember everyone in our newsroom, in our college newsroom, was taping up their cameras. And I got on board. And I haven't really looked back ever since. So I'll tell you a couple little stories to just justify me taping up my camera. So first time I ever took an assignment abroad, I went to Caracas, Venezuela. This was about 20 years ago. And the first day I was there, about 10 a.m. in the market, I started to notice these guys sort of following us. I voiced my concern to a friend of mine who had traveled to South America before, and he was like, you're just being a paranoid gringo. And I'm like, I don't know, I feel like these guys are sort of watching us. About an hour later, I heard my friend yell. I saw these guys tugging on his $20 to $30 Holga camera. And I had my Leica M6 and 35, so looking at a few thousand dollars. I heard the scream, I saw what was happening, I tackled the guy while I was on the ground, felt something rip from my pocket, I thought it was my wallet, so I pursued the guy, it turned out to be my light meter, I was younger, I was fitter then, so I kicked the guy in the rib, I chased him down, I kicked him in the rib, and then just as I was about to punch him, a revolver was pointed right at my face, like right in my face, it was a police officer, and they were in on it the whole time except we won the fight, so we didn't lose our cameras when my friend broke his Holga but we lost later on because we paid the police a bribe because we sat there for hours and they wouldn't let us go. That's a whole other story. But my camera was all taped up, no like a logo, camera brand on there. And I got always got free. I didn't lose anything. Got my light meter back and my camera wasn't damaged and they went for his Holga. But the point is, is that they went for his camera, had a logo on it, had a name on it, looked shinier, looked bigger. I remember doing another story. I had to go to Port Mosby in Papua New Guinea, and that, I kept reading about that city as being really dangerous. And I'll never forget, on the first day, I was paranoid driving back from the airport. It was a one-day assignment. I was basically coming in for the day, shooting the story, and flying out later in the day, and I had a driver, and while I'm asking him questions and feeling him out, he was really defensive about, oh no, it's very safe here. I'm like, okay, fine. You know, making me feel a little more comfortable, I get it. And literally in the middle of him telling me how safe it is, we're at a stoplight, I see a dude jump out of a bus window with someone else's belongings and three seconds later the dude that he stole it from is chasing after him. I'm like, well, there's your answer. It's not as safe as you said it was. And then another time in Bangkok, I remember I did a lot of assignments in Bangkok with no incidents ever and then I got a little bit cocky, got a little more money, I bought a Billingham bag and I was on assignment leaving Bangkok in a bus, Billingham bag next to me, my fixer was a couple seats over. I got comfortable, I fell asleep, thief on the bus sat in front of me and he was just leaning back and taking stuff out of my camera because I had my camera back right next to me. There's another little pro tip in there. Keep your camera back like around your neck. Don't ever get comfortable in any bus. Keep your camera like around your neck and zippered up. Now, the main pockets were zippered up, but I did have those little front flappable pockets and he was just picking stuff out. By the time I came to and figured out what was going on, he had already exited the bus. And I realized, oh, I'd lost like a microphone and some memory cards. No lenses, no camera, thank goodness. But that Billingham bag was quite shiny and it just looked expensive. And again, that's the point of this story. Leicas don't necessarily look expensive, but a savvy thief might recognize that red dot or they might recognize the logo. And they might even recognize a Leica just by looking at it. However, just a little piece of tape, just a tiny little piece of tape, like for me on my M10D there's no logo in front, but just a little piece of gaffer tape over the top here cost a few bucks. You can take it on and off pretty easily, so I just carry a roll in my bags at all times. And if you have the Leica logo in front, I don't know, yeah, it doesn't look great. A lot of you out there are going to say, oh my goodness, blasphemy, how could you do that? How could you tape up your Leica? I'm guilty like the rest of you out there of every once in a while taking a photo of my Leica 
but that's not why I bought this. I bought this to take photos with my Leica and I want to keep my Leica. So just a little piece of tape or at least applying that tape when you might be in a sketchy situation and you just never know. Just putting a piece of tape over on it, just that split second, they might not notice it or they might think it looks a little beat up, a little bit cheaper. And then a nice little added bonus on top of that, if you're the type of person that resells your cameras down the line, it prevents it from getting scratched up. So I've seen friends tape up the whole top and the whole front here. I just put a little piece of the logo on the top and if I had the red dot here, I might put it over on that as well. This goes for the Q2, the SL, even though the SL2S is blacked out, but still, it helps. Anyway, I just want to share that with you guys. A lot of people ask me about that. Why do you put tape on your Leicas? Why do you put tape on all your cameras? That's why. Anyway, that's it. That's all for today. That's my little pro tip. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Don't forget to check out my online store at justamont.com where I've got presets, I've got prints, and I've got a variety of one-on-one -on -one classes to choose from. Check all that out and pick up some gaffer tape for like a few bucks at your local hardware store. That's all for today, guys. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and don't forget to have a wonderful day.